Captain Black Great. Let's talk about it. Roll hands, hoist the colors high. He throws thieves and bears. Never shall we die. Captain Black Grape. All right. First things first before we get into this review, I want to wish everybody a happy, happy Easter. I hope you guys have fun with your festivities and your celebrations tomorrow. Enjoy the time with your friends and family because that is what's important, friends and family. Now, as for me, this is my last review of the season. It's been a long one, I know, six months. I can't believe just how fast it flew. I just can't. But you guys are rid of me until the fall. But we got one more video to do after this. And it's going to be a sneak peek into the upcoming season. Now, seasons going for, forward, excuse me, will not be quite this long. All right. But anyway, let's get into it. Shall we? The Captain Black Grape. All right. Tobacco. Okay. So what is this? All right. And how did I get it? Well, I went to a tobacco slash vape slash head shop and they had a pouch of Captain Black on the counter. And I said, how much is that? They said a buck fifty. I said, I want it. They gave it to me. Well, sold it to me. So what is this? From what I gather from reading the reviews and everything, this is just Captain Black original with a grape topping. All right. So you have hints of vanilla and grape in this tobacco. Now, the Cat Black Series, I've tried them all, okay? I've tried them all. I love, love, and did I mention I love? I love the gold and the platinum. I really enjoy the royal and the uh, original, okay? I hate the fucking cherry blend. The cherry blend sucks. Worst, outside of laying very cherry, it is the worst cherry blend on the market. And I think whoever came up with the cherry blend for Cat and Black needs to be fired immediately because it is the most god awful synthetic tasting cherry that you can find. I mean, did they purposely go on the hunt to find the worst, worst flavor that they could? That's my question on that one. But anyway, this has got nothing to do with cherry. This has got to do with the grape. So what am I expecting? I'm expecting, I got very little expectation from this, considering that they have discontinued it. You can't get this anywhere, okay? So my expectations for this are very low. All right. I'm expecting a very synthetic, great flavor, mixed in with the vanilla from the Cat and Black original. And, you know, I'm expecting an amazing room note. And since I took the plastic, the cellophane off, I can tell you right now. I am getting some of that cherry aroma coming through. So the pouch note actually does smell like grapes. Did I just say cherry or did I say grapes? I meant grapes. Yes. Amazing, amazing pouch note. That grape is awesome. That is an awesome aroma to that. Moisture level. It's dry, okay? It's just dry, but hell. But that is what the cut looks like. That's a ribbon. They say coarse cut on tobacco reviews, but it's a ribbon cut. But that is amazing. Ooh, yummy. Mm-hmm. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna be, uh, I did replace my Cornell and Deal little tin there. I got a 
pipe tray. Well, this is a weed tray, but you know, came from King Palm, okay? They did send me some products for review and uh, those reviews will be coming up the first uh, season, the first of the next season. So around the end of September. But yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking good pouch note. So you got some black Cavendish in there. You got the Virginias. And you got some of the darker Burleys. Okay. And you do have some of that vanilla in there. And vanilla aroma. Now which pipe am I going to be using? This Now I'm going to use the Pirate Poker. Okay. Because I don't know how this shit tastes. To tell you the truth. And I'm not going to ruin one of my good pipes. So, I'm using a pipe I don't give a fuck about, which is the pirate poker. All right. Nice short smoke. It'll be able to give me a definite um, read on what this tobacco is about. All right. Draw is good. Pre-puff, I am getting that vanilla and that grape. And it tastes like a very synthetic, synthetic grape. All right, let's light this up. First things first, the room note is amazing, okay? Yes, it's definitely a crowd pleaser room note. So whatever your domestic partnership, they're gonna love this room note. Okay, it just smells like somebody just stuck a bowl of grape jelly under your damn face. The taste, actually believe it or not, is not that bad. It really is not terrible. It's just not very good either. <laughs> it's a very chemical grape flavor as with other as with uh, you, you know the rest of Captain Black's blends alright but what this taste reminds me of All right, you know when you're working third shift, your company has you working third shift for a couple nights, and you get home in the morning, you can't fucking sleep. So what do you do? You go to the drugstore, you buy a bottle of Z-Cool to help you go to sleep. This tastes like Z-Cool. I'm getting drowsy already. Not really, but it does taste like Z-Cool. The difference between this and their cherry flavor is this is not as potent. Now, I don't know how it was back in the past, and obviously this is an aged pouch, so I don't know exactly how it was in the past if it was, you know, extremely overpowering, but now that it's got some age onto it, and that great flavor has had time to dissipate and go away a little bit, it's just not as overpowering as the cherry blend is. It's not mellow either. It's still there, but it's not. It's more evened out. But, yeah. I could do this. If I was to be uh, given the choice. Desert Island. Stuck there forever. You can only choose between two blends. You can, you, you can choose between the Captain Black Cherry and or the Captain Black Grape. Which one would I choose? Captain Black Grape. The cherry is just fucking disgusting. Sorry, so it's not going to work. Even after aging it, it still is fucking horrible. But Captain Black Grape. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's average. Okay. Maybe a little less than average. But. Hey. 
At least it's not a terrible fucking disgusting blob of mess. But would I recommend it? No. Even if you can find it, don't pick it up. Don't. All right. Rating time. Zero being the worst. Ten being the best. 4.5 out of 10 is what I would give the Captain Black Grape. Not terrible. Not great. Slightly below average. Okay. If it was still available on the market... And like I went to a gas station, I forgot I forgot my pouch at home, forgot my pouch of tobacco at home. I had my pipe, I had my lighter, I didn't have tobacco. I go into a gas station and the only thing they had was Captain Black grape, I'd buy it. That's its saving grace, is that if it's the only thing available to smoke, at least it's not shit. But anyway, that's all I got for you. All right. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Comment, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't matter. It's all of you, and I love you all anyhow. All right. Live long and prosper, Space Cowboys. Till next time. Peace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out Alright then I don't know what the fuck just happened But I don't really care I'ma get the fuck up out of here Fuck this shit, I'm out